Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you 5 ways to make money fast in Disney's Dreamlight Valley. The first way I'm going to show you is going to be pumpkins and pumpkin seeds. Now, you need to buy pumpkin seeds from Goofy Stools. They're, you know, they're all throughout different biomes, but the biome you want to go to is the Forgotten Lands, where you can get the pumpkin seeds. So we're going to go there now. Right, so now we have to find the stall because I forgot which way it is, but you know. Ah, it's this way, here we are, right. So we go to the uh, stall here, give you the stall, and we Bye will there, buy some pumpkin seeds. So they cost 275 a lot, so they are quite expensive. So I'd advise probably having about 163,000 if you want to get like a decent amount, like 600. And then you can probably sell them for about. 300 and some, uh, 360, I think it is, 360,000. So, look, let me just show you. So, one costs 275, but they cost 27.2 thousand for 100, uh, for 99. So, it's slightly over for 100, you know, about 27.4, uh, yeah, 0.4. But, yeah, so it's, you're gonna be, you know, you'll need just over 163,000, but it's gonna be a lot, but. It's definitely worth it because you make like a hundred and something thousand profit from six hundred. You make you can buy more if you have enough coins. And just to show you how much money you can get, so I've got upgraded everything in my house at the moment, and I have two point four million. So you can get a lot this way. So now what you want to do is once you bought the pumpkin seeds, so we'll just buy some here. Or buy two. You want to go to uh, wherever you've dug up some holes, or you can create it if you want, where in whichever biome you want. I've done mine um, near my house because you keep restoring energy. If you go in your house, it's quite a fast way. Look, you can see all of my pumpkins there, um, ready to be harvested. But we'll come back to that once I've harvested them. But they sell for six hundred each the pumpkins once they're grown. So what you want to do, you want to plant them all, ideally close to each other, a bit like this. And uh, once they're all planted, you water them like this. And then it takes about four hours for them to grow. So you, you'll have to come back every hour or two because it takes um, four hours for them to grow. But they dry up every one or two hours, that's why you have to keep coming back. So when you harvest them... You want to have a gardening character with you because they give you extra pumpkins on top of the many you have already so you make even more money. Now ideally it would be good if they're level 10. So for example for me I would either have Wally because he's gardening for me if you see there. Or uh, I think Mickey is my gardener as well. Yes, Mickey is my gardener so that's what you will do there. Then... Once you have uh, done that, um, so I'll show you in a minute where I gotta go find Wally or someone. Let me think. Oh, there's Wally. Right, let's go grab Wally. Okay, so if we grab Wally here and then we will harvest a lot of the pumpkins here. Okay, so this will take a little bit of a while, chat, so I'll probably end up... I'll probably cut this part because this is going to take a little while, but I'll be back once I've harvested them all in a minute. Okay, let's go again. All right, that's me back, everyone. I've just finished harvesting all the pumpkins, as you can see. It took a little while, let's put it that way. Now, I don't know how many we got, so let's have a quick look. Probably... Okay, we got a lot, as you can see. Uh, it didn't take me too long to count. Let's go see the main part, though, is I want to show you guys how much it sells for at Goofy's Stool. So, we'll go and show you now. Just go over to Goofy's Stool in the plaza. Uh, not plaza, meadow. Um, and then... If we click sell... 
Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to sell all your pumpkins unless you want to keep some for whatever reason. It's up to you. You might want to keep it for some meals or something. Because you do need a couple of pumpkins for some meals. Um, so yeah, anyway, you'll see. So just from that patch alone, this is. I used to have more. I made 877.8 thousand coins. See, and that's a very. I know it takes four hours for them to grow, but that is actually one of the faster ways to make money in Disney's Dreamlight Valley if you've unlocked the Forgotten Lands. However, I know some of you have not unlocked the uh, Forgotten Lands, so we're going to show you a, another way of making uh, money rather quickly. I mean, it's not going to be as quick as the pumpkins, but it, it's still pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Now, don't forget, sometimes you won't be able to see pumpkin seeds or anything else um, if you haven't upgraded Goofy's stool, so it's important to upgrade them in each biome. But more in particular, like especially early on, you're going to want canola. Now, canola can be found... Well, the seeds, sorry. The canola seeds is what you want. They can be found in Goofy's stool again. It's pretty similar to the pumpkin again, so... You want to go here, but you might need to upgrade it, because you see how it's the third one along, not the second. See, third? So it might, you might not be able to buy it straight away. So make sure you have enough coins to upgrade Goofy's stool. It is very important. So anyway, we're going to buy a canola. You, we're not going to see it grow, but it costs 100 uh, uh, no, it costs 25. So you're going to buy lots, probably. You need lots, so you will need a, f a fair amount of coins. You can get it from fishing and mining in the different biomes. Um, fishing, obviously, uh, the, ha um, the more Dreamlight you've used for the biome, the rarer fish there are there. Also, um, Moana's boat's pretty good to upgrade, because she gives you fish, which usually sell between 3 to 6, and if you're really lucky, 8,000 coins, so every few hours, so she keeps restocking that. If you upgrade it to full, you get 20 fish. But to begin with, you'll probably only get a little amount, like two, maybe one. But if you keep upgrading her, I know she costs a lot, but that does help as well to build money. But mainly I'd just go with mining, with a mining partner uh, character. Uh, you know, ideally if they're level 10, it's better. But if you need to level up some other characters that are mining, I, or if you just want to level up your characters, it's easy to do if you're just going for coins. Uh, use any of them, but... Ideally, use somebody who's got mining because you'll get an extra gem if you find one, uh, and that then you'll be able to make more money quickly. Same if you go fishing, make sure they have a fishing partner, and then you should be able to make more. Anyway, we'll talk more about mining and fishing in a minute. So anyway, we bought our canola seed from the forest of Valor, and now we're going to go and plant it. Now. I'm going to sh obviously, you know, I haven't got a canola on hand, okay? I haven't planted lots of canola, so I can't show you how much they're going to sell for in bulk, but... So if you think, that cost me 25, and it cost me 2,500 for 100 of those. But to sell them, if you go into ingredients, in case you're not sure, and you go down to... Uh, where is it? Let me look. Um, down here, canola is. Go down to canola, it sells for 109. So if you get 100 of canola, it's um, going to sell for about almost 11,000. So you sell, if you get lots of canola, say like 500 canola, alright, it'll take a long time, but it only takes 35 minutes for it to grow, as you can see there. So you know, every hour you could probably make um, near enough 100,000. So, if you plant 500, I know it takes a lot of time, but, you know, it's still a pretty quick way of making um, money. Now, now, that's number, that's the second way of making money is by selling the canola, the goofy stool. And that's usually a bit easier if you only have the forest unlocked. Now, if you don't have goofy stool upgraded, 
you want to go to the forest again, because most people should have this unlocked. And you should, I'm not sure if you can, be able to buy the bell peppers. That's a third way. Now, the bell peppers don't give you a whole lot of profit, i got to say. Because you buy them for 12, and I think they only sell for like 30 something. So you're really not making a lot. But they only take 15 minutes to grow, so, you know, they're pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I, I know, it's, it's not the best way. Alright, so ideally you do want to upgrade, but if you haven't got the canola yet, you might have the onions. How's it going? Now the onions, they sell for 50, so we're going to buy one. Whoa! This is the third way, is onions. See you later. Um, and now, um, you do the same, same method, you know, you plant lots, you buy lots, so if it was 50 for... Well, uh, it cost me 50 for one uh, onion, it's going to cost me 5,000 for 100, so 5,000 per 100. So say you want uh, 500, it's going to cost you 25,000 coins. But you're going to sell them for 170. So, but then it's going to take an hour and 15, so they're a bit slower than your bell pepper and your um, canola so by the time you've sold your 100 you are going to make 17,000 but it's going to take an hour and a quarter so it's a bit slower than actually um, than the can canola as well so you're not going to make as much money so that's that part but I am going to ask for a bonus seed in, okay, so if you have made it quite far, okay, and you're, say you've unlocked Frosted Heights, we're going to go to Frosted Heights, same thing again, make sure Groofy's stall upgraded, obviously you, uh, you're going to need to mine, it's a must, uh, or fish, you know, I'd rather mine, I think you make about uh, um, anywhere between eight to 15,000 normally uh, in if you haven't unlocked um, the frosted heights yet then it, you'll probably make somewhere between three to five unfortunately but eventually you'll be able to build it up if you start selling the canola and the onions in the forest and then you'll be able to do this one now unfortunately I don't think it's selling here today how's it going um unfortunately but i think eggplant is pretty good so we'll use eggplant as an example yeah so it sells 300 eggplant hey there so it costs 100 okay so it's going to cost you almost 10000 for uh, eggplants now they take a little while to grow but you know if you haven't unlocked the uh, forgotten lands yet then this is a good one to do it takes 3 hours but if you get a hundred of them, it might have cost you ten thousand or just just around that, but you're gonna make um, a lot more than that. Okay, so I'm going to move on to mining now anyway. So I'm just gonna find my mining partner, and then once I've found them, I'll be back and we can show you. Um, the mining parts and how much each area will sell you for make sure to have a miner ideally level 10 i mean you know again that's asking for it but you know we'll see anyway we'll be right back while i go and find my partner us back here here's eric he's one of my level 10 mining uh partners as you can see okay so he's going to help us out today Right, so we're going to start in the plaza. Now usually when I'm mining, I would go all around the different biomes and sell them uh, at one of Goofy's stalls, the gems and everything I get. But if you need to collect some bits, don't sell it all if you need. You know, if you want to make a collection, I'd only sell the bits that you don't really need. And obviously the gems are what you want to sell because they make a lot. So hopefully we're going to get a gem. Okay, we didn't this time, but Eric gave me extra as you saw. That's why you have your mining partner with you, because he can give you extra gems if you get one. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's being too helpful for me at the minute. Uh, we'll just keep going round and 
um, try and get some gems. Hopefully there's some. So, again, because I'm in the plaza, it's very unlikely for me to make a lot anyway. As I said, you'll make anywhere from probably... Well, as long as you should, most people will probably have the plaza in the meadow unlocked anyway. So you'll probably make about 2,000 to 5. But it's more going to be towards the 2, 3 kind of area. Right, there you go. We're going to get a gem now. See? Okay, so we got a gem. Just pick one up. And Eric's given me an extra one. That's why it's good to have a mining partner with you. Because even if they're not level 10, they could still give you a gem. They're just less likely, that's all. There we go. We've got another mineral. So, from the plaza alone, okay, because I sell everything, we'll go see how much we made. As I said, it's probably not going to be a great deal, because it isn't usually here. Oh, I missed some. Never mind, chat. Hang on. Um, we'll just go and grab that. So, well, mine here, everyone. Right, here we go. Um, just quickly grab that. Okay, so we've got every. We've mined all the uh, rocks around the plaza. Now we'll go and see how much it makes, because it's quite important to know, you know how much each area sells for, so we'll have a look. Okay, so... For the plaza... Okay, we had a bit of bad run there, see, we only made a thousand, but usually you get a shiny one, generally. And then we just got normal ones, but usually, as I said, you make about two to five. Maybe a thousand in the plaza then, but because you have the meadow, it is usually two to five. Okay, so you always want to carry around some berries or raspberries apples so you, you know if you run out of energy you can keep going i always pick lots to make sure i don't carry a whole lot so it doesn't block my inventory either because that's quite important not to block that otherwise you'll be back and forth you know selling and it takes a bit longer than it needs to but the point of mining is mining is pretty a good way to um make a lot so of oh. yeah, make a lot of money on the game so well, I'm just going to mine a few rocks similar process anyway Eric will keep giving me extras but I'll be right back um, do. and the plaza we have made what have we made ok 3000 within the range I said two to five with both of them okay so now obviously I'm going to show you them all because you know it, and it usually takes quite a little while okay so this isn't very fast but this is still quite a quick way of making money on the game uh, so it probably takes anywhere from 8 to 15 minutes probably to do them all as long as you um, go round with some energy like I have so you're gonna see me eat some gooseberries and an apple for example then I'm back to full and obviously I'm level 40 so um, I have more energy than some of you may have so it, you know you may need to carry more but the idea is here anyway so as you see Eric gave me an extra one there and that's why it's important to level up your characters because they do get you more money quite quickly or at least the important ones like fishing and mining, that's what I'd advise. Okay, so as you can see, he's get, I got a gem there, and there's another one. Okay, so I'm probably going to skip on again a bit, and then you'll see me in the beach. Because it's just the same process. Okay. Okay. That's us back. We're here at the beach. I'm just going to show you guys real quick before I mine anything at the beach. How much I made from the plaza, meadow and the glade of trust put together. Hi there, pal. So I have made... Eight thousand and it, it hasn't... I'm playing too long. Maybe... I wouldn't say any more than five minutes. 
to make 8,000. So it's a pretty quick way of making it. So here you go, you'll see Eric helping me again. And we're just going to, same process chat, we're just going to go through and um, mine on the beach. And then you will find that once we have done that. Um, there we go, yeah, you'll find once we... Yeah, there we go. Once we've done that, we're going to skip on now. So you'll see us skip on. Just wait for Eric, Eric to give us another gem, as you can see. Now, I'm just going to skip on. Okay, and we're back in the forest here. The forest of Valor. Uh, chat and... Um, right, so we're going to... Anyway, we're going to show you, guys, um, what we made from the plaza, the meadow the beach and the glade of trust so far as we go around and mine the forest in a minute so here we go we're selling it all obviously keep some bits if you need to because it's i don't need them but if you do make sure to keep them because they can be important for quests later on so we've made eleven thousand from those areas which is pretty good so you know if you've unlocked them three you're still getting eleven thousand however mm -hmm. you're if you've unlocked this place as well, you're going to get more than that. So we're going to go round with Eric again. And we're going to go mine all the different areas. Um, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, guys, that's us back. We're now in um, Frosted Heights. We have mined from all of the forest now. So we've mined the Forest of Valor, the Plaza, the Meadow, the beach and the glade of trust now we're going to see how much we made so far yeah, obviously i go around and mine all the biomes but we we've probably been at it about 10 minutes now be uh inclined to say it'll probably be uh so we've made 14,000, but more like 11 which is pretty good for 10 minutes it'll probably by the time we're done it'll probably be about 15 minutes anyway so we're going to go around the frosted if you've unlocked it obviously this is quite a good way of making money still if you haven't, well, just mind the place as you can. You should still make a fair amount. As long as you have a character with you, they'll get you extra gems. And obviously, don't mind if you don't see gems on some of the rocks, because they could still have them. They won't have the super rare gems, but they still could have some. For example, this one might have a gem inside, even though it's not showing any. So make sure... See? There you go point proven so that's why you always make sure to mine even if they don't have gems on them because they might still have a gem even it might not be a rare gem but it will still sell for a decent amount anyways we're just going to finish up mining uh, frosted here and uh, I'll be back and we will probably be at uh, where, where have we been I think Sun yeah Sunlit Plateau that's where we'll be next so I'll be right back Okay, and we're back. We are at Sunlit Plateau here, and we are just going to show you how much we have made from mining in the uh, forest of Valor, the plaza, the meadow, the beach, Glade of Trust, and Frosted Heights. So here we go. It's still quite, as I said, I've probably been mining for about 12 minutes now. Give or take, maybe 13, but it takes about 15, as I said. And so I've probably made around 15,000, because as I said, I got a few extra gems back there. But still, you know, 13 minutes for 15,000 is pretty good if you've unlocked everywhere. Obviously, it's not so easy if you haven't, but you still get a fair amount. I would advise mining, and as I always say, make sure to bring your character along with you. They do give extra ones like that. Okay, so same process again, just go around mining like this. Make sure to carry food, as you can see I'm about to run out of energy again. Which is why I carry lots. And then I'm back full. Or go back to your house if you don't want to carry food, that's another thing. If you want to keep teleporting to the well in the plaza, then you can do that as well. It'll just take you more like 20-25 minutes instead to make about 
15, but you know, if you want to do it that way, that's that's good as well. Okay, so um, you'll see me mining this rock, and then I've got a couple more to do, so we'll be uh, right back after I grab this gem. Okay, we'll be right back. And here we are going to show you how much we have made from mining all the other biomes except the Forgotten Lands, as we mined everywhere except here now. So all together, for uh, as I said, it's probably been about we're probably about 15, 16 minutes in, so it might have just taken me a bit longer than normal, but usually it is usually about 15, maybe 20 at a push. And look, we made 20,000, but as I said, I had a few extras, so maybe around 18, 17,000, which is still pretty good, still a pretty quick way of making uh, money. So now we're just going to go around and we're going to mine the Forgotten Lands, and there it. We'll see how much we've made from all the stuff. Obviously you may or may not make more or less. Depends how nice they are with the gems. But generally you're going to make a decent amount. Now we will... See the Forgotten Lands isn't being so nice. So I'm not getting so many gems this time around. So we may not make as much as we would have liked. But we're still going to make quite a decent amount. This is how you save up for the seeds generally. So uh, we're just gonna go around, finish up the last few, and uh, we'll be right back and show you how much we've made from mining all the biomes. Okay, that's me back, chat, and everyone else on YouTube watching. And uh, here we are. So me and Eric are here. We're going to sell everything, all the gems and stuff we made from the different biomes, and this will be. How much we made in about 15 to 20 minutes. I, I, I said about 16 minutes, but I haven't really been timing. But I know it's about 15, 20 minutes it's been. Because it's usually how long it takes me. So I've made 26,000. But I did get a bit lucky. So you may or may not make more or less than this. But it's going to be around 20,000 if you have all the biomes unlocked. If you don't, then it may be more than less than that. So... You'll probably make around 60,000, maybe an hour if you're lucky, or maybe less if you're not so lucky. Sometimes they don't give you gems. It's... But make sure, as long as you have a mining partner, though, you are likely to make a decent amount each time you go around mining. So that is... So we're going to sell that. And that's mm -hmm. going to be the uh, fourth way of making money. Now the fifth... Fishing. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, no, we don't want that. Drop that, we don't want that. Okay, Hello. so we're gonna say goodbye to Eric now. Thank you. And now I'm gonna look for a fishing partner. For me, for example, it is going to be Moana or I think Goofy? Yeah, or Goofy for me. So I'm gonna go and look. Now, if you had the Forgotten Lands, um. This is probably the best place to fish, but in terms of getting money. But first of all, I'll be right back and let me just grab Goofy and then we'll continue from the Forgotten Lands and I'll show you. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are, we're back. And me and Goofy, as you can see, he's with me. We're here to fish. Right, the gold spot means I'm going to get an angler fish. Now, an angler fish, I'll show you in a minute. It sells for generally. Ah. Oh, I can't quite remember actually. Uh, it's it's a thousand or two thousand per one. Usually with Goofy you get an extra one. So we'll see. Yeah, see Goofy's giving me an extra one because he's my fishing partner, so that's good for us. He is let me see. Uh the fish, right, here we go. I've got all the fish, so we can see how much they're worth. I think you can anyway, even if you don't have all the fish, so don't worry. So that, yeah, so this is the rarest fish. It sells for 1.5 thousand. Now, so you can find all sorts of different fish. I mean, the, for example, the bass, that's not worth too much. You don't want that. But the, the bream's pretty good from the meadow. That's that's the gold fishing spot. That sells for 280. Carp, that's decent. You know, that's probably a blue in the forest. And sunlit, um... Okay, so sunlit's not easy for me. Uh, because I don't have um, 
fishing spots. I don't know if anyone else does, but I wouldn't fish in sunlit plateau because it's very unlikely to find the fish you're looking for. Like uh, this is another one. You can only get that one from Moana's boat. I'll show you that. That's the bonus at the end. I'll talk more about Moana's boat. Um, so we got the catfish. Uh, we got cod, which is found in the Dazzle Beach. We've got layers again. Didn't sell for much. It's 35. Probably going to be found just in the normal fishing spots. You'll find the crab in probably a blue or gold fishing spot in Frosted. No, in the blue, I think. Fugu. Now, Fugu, you will find in a gold, fish, gold fishing spot. But, you will only find it in a thunderstorm at Dazzle Beach. No other time. Herring, again, it's Glade of Trust, Dazzle Beach. You won't find much from it, though, but it's held for a decent amount. You know, It doesn't take too long to make a decent amount of money. So... The kingfish is at Dazzle Beach. That's usually found in a blue spot from memory. Uh, I think that's where I found it. And usually I only find those at night. But I don't know if that's there's a catch with that one. Might be only at night. Or I've just only found them at night. Lance, Lancet fish. You only find that in the Forgotten Lands. That sells for six fifty. See, this is what I'm saying. If you have the Forgotten Lands, it's very good for, uh, for uh, making money off of fish. as Wow, but... I'll show you the different, so really you want the, you know, but you know, if you're after, um, ideally you want blue and gold fishing spots, if you're fishing, it's um, definitely the best way, well, one of the best ways early on, especially like breams and stuff, if you get lucky, a bit of magic happens and you get lots of fish at once, you know, the, that orange thing that happens, so hopefully that happens when you catch a gold spot. But ideally you want the gold and blue spots, they usually sell for more. But if you don't have any, you're going to have to fish some white spots. But even then, you get like a few of them, they sell for like, you know, for example, 10 tuners, they sell for 950. So it's pretty good to uh, go around there. Anyway, I'll show you because there's a blue spot here. I'm not going to show you each place though because it's just literally all you're looking for is gold and blue spots really. And with your taking your fishing character around, a lot like this. But I will show you just how much I made. For, okay, so say we, we've been fishing a little while, but not too long. But for example, so me and Goofy have been fishing for a little bit, and we'll show you how much I make just in the Forgotten Lands. All right, this is where you're going to make most of the money. So this is a quick way in this point, but it's still pretty quick in some of the um, even in the meadow. It's still pretty quick. See, I got another blue. This is what you're after, the blue spots. They usually have the rarer fish. Okay, so we're going to watch us fish quickly. Here we go. We got the lancet fish. We're going to pick it up. Okay, so we're done. We haven't fished long, okay? Usually you want to fish a bit longer than I have. That's how you make the money. But, you know, I've only been fishing two, let's say, one, two minutes. And even in that time, I've got some decent fish with Goofy's help as well. So what have we made? So they sell for 1,500 each. So we've made 3,000 just there. Um, so overall, we've made 5,000 just from two minutes fishing. Was so that's why it's good in the Forgotten Lands with a fishing character. Level 10 usually gives you more chance of getting an extra fish. So that's why you want to level them up if you can. But if they're not high level, still take a fishing character. If, or if you just want to level another character up. But they won't give you extras if they're not a fishing character. Just one you will now. Same with mining. Same with gardening. You won't get extra pumpkins if they're not a gardening character. So it's better to use that character based on what their, um, on what their speciality is. For example, digging, if you're digging, you probably want extra clay, for example. I know Mini has a quest for that. You probably want to take a digging character with you. That's just an example. Anyway, so I, uh, I won't give any more spoilers than that. And also, food is quite important. You know, say you want to make some meals. You need them for some of the entrees. You need two fugus for that, so it's always good. And even to save some. Because, and like, for example... 
I'm going to show you the bonus now of how to make money. And fairly quickly, but this isn't going to be you making money. This is where you leave it for a little bit. It's not quick, this one, but it's a little bonus, which is quite... This is why I said it's good to upgrade Moana's boat. I'll quickly show you. We'll head there now. Okay, here me and Goofy are. We don't need Goofy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change what you're going to get. So, I fully upgraded Moana's boat. It is expensive. Here it is. But she catches me 20 fish. So, look, I've got two, two um, wall, walleye fish, which are very rare, because I can't catch them in Sandlit Plateau. A lot of people can't catch fish there at the minute. There seems to be a bit of a bug, but I, I don't know. That would probably be fixed at some point soon, anyway. But here we are. This is as much fish as she's given me. I'll go sell them. Except the walleye, because I can't get them. I, w I wouldn't advise selling them, because you might, in case you need them. But if you want to sell them, you can. You know, you need the money. It doesn't matter. She'll probably catch more. She catches quite a few of those, anyway. So we'll sell. Hi there, pal. Um, see they sell for a thousand, they're obviously worth a lot, so if you do want to sell them you can. So, okay. So from Moana's boat, she's made me six thousand, because I've sold the what, Forgotten Lands one. Well technically she's made me, if I add these two in, just to tell you, eight thousand five hundred. Which is great, you know, but you only make it every few hours. And she is fully upgraded. So when she's not so um, upgraded, she probably makes you anywhere between one to three, maybe. Uh, maybe less. I I'm not sure. I can't quite remember. But it was still a decent amount. Every, you know, every half hour you might want to check in on her. Because it's a few hours for me because she's fully upgraded. But if she isn't, it could be every half an hour. But yeah, that that's that. I'm just going to add in a little extra. This isn't necessarily making money on the game, but I'm going to just tell you a little thing, um, just in case you didn't know it. Cause I, I didn't know this, so maybe you didn't either, so we'll um, quickly show you. It's not going to take me long. Okay, so this is Wally's Garden. Most people, if they've unlocked the meadow, they will have this. There'll be a Scrooge sign somewhere over here. And you have to keep upgrading it. Well, every day Wally leaves crops. If you fully upgrade it like this one, he'll leave crops of all different kinds. I get potatoes, leeks, eggplants, and you just it's just a good way of getting ingredients for meals if you need them really that. And another way you can make gold is through meals, but I don't know which meal sells for the most. But yeah, like for example, go Pacho makes 556 so you can sell mills but I think the ways I've suggested are probably a bit quicker but you, you can try it maybe mills are quick as well but I, I think they're more better for leveling up characters anyway but you know mills aren't bad either so I know some people that make quite a bit from selling mills so that's good anyway so uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video that is uh, going to be all the ways I know how to make money fairly quickly. I mean, they're not all super quick, but they're quicker than most ways on how to make uh, the coins on Good this game. So hopefully you will learn you something. Like and uh, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks everyone for watching.